Recently, our correspondent Kun Niranutrai Chakwanit had a chance to talk to Dr. Pichet Durong Kawirot, Minister of Digital Economy and Society, about the ministry's strategies to promote the Digital Thailand 2017 concept in compliance with the Thailand 4.0 initiative. Let's have a look. Could you talk about the ministry's strategy in moving Thailand to a digital economy in accordance with Thailand 4.0 initiative? Yes, as, as you know, uh, the government has initiated this Thailand 4.0 mm -hmm. and it may be different for different people, mm -hmm. the interpretation of 4.0. Uh, to me, 4.0 uh, refers to the fact that we want to escalate our country to another level, mm -hmm. of course to a higher level. Uh, for example, from middle-income country into a developed country, uh, from uh, rural uh, poor to uh, rural who uh, has better quality of life and better chance in the economic mm -hmm. development. Uh, so in doing so, we are talking about Thailand 4.0 that has to have higher innovation. Uh, Thailand 4.0 that has less uh, disparity among the rich and the poor. Mm -hmm. And Thailand 4.0 that uh, uh, developed according to the sustainable development scheme, mm -hmm. okay, in whatever we do. Mm -hmm. So all these three pillars, to me, is uh, uh, form the fact that uh, we are moving ahead. And uh, certainly, uh, digital technology plays a big part uh, in, in, in pushing Thailand upward. Uh, the reason I say so is because uh, today the pervasiveness of digital technology, uh, the uh, ubiquitous uh, aspect of uh, technology is, is something that we have never seen before in the history of Thailand development. The fact that uh, you, you and I have uh, mobile phones, we may have uh, iPad and so on. Uh, but it's also the fact that uh, people who are, who are living in the re remote areas can enjoy that kind of facilities, mm -hmm. can be connected, and can do business for the first time. Even though they are far away, uh, the space is not a problem anymore. And we are doing all we can at this point in time in order to make sure that uh, digital technology may be the telephone line, uh, maybe submarine cable or uh, uh, applications will be vi widely available uh, not only to the Bangkokians but to people in other provinces even uh, far away mm -hmm. uh, and hard to get at and uh, government has been uh, doing a lot in order to make sure that the availability accessibility as well as affordability will be in place for uh, most if not all Thai citizens to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Well, in order to achieve that, what have the ministry have done in order to achieve that uh, state? Um, uh, prior uh, uh, to me coming to this ministry, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is the credit uh, of many ministers mm -hmm. uh, before me. Yes. Uh, I have been in this position for about eight months now. Uh, what we are seeing is the installation of uh, 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 digital infrastructure. Uh, we are seeing uh, uh, both hard and soft infrastructure. We are seeing the engagement of private sector and business sector to do more. And we are seeing a lot of international collaborations. Okay, now to to put things in in into perspective, let me let me just uh, conclude uh, the the movement of this ministry, the so-called Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, into five areas. Uh, and uh, I have coined it uh, Sigma. Uh, as we know, Sigma is the sum, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, uh, S as, as to uh, security, and we are talking about cyber security, mm -hmm. which is quite important, not only to Thailand, too, but to most countries in the world, okay? In order to protect the society from uh, cyber harm, okay? Uh, I as uh, infrastructure and uh, as I mentioned both hard infrastructure, soft infrastructure, all inclusive. Okay? Hard infrastructure we talk about satellite, submarine cable, uh, terrestrial uh, fiber optics for example. Soft infrastructure we talk about legal infrastructure such as uh, uh, electronic transaction, 
such as uh, uh, privacy law uh, or computer crime law. Okay. G as for government or e-government, uh, to be exact. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and here we are talking about improving the performance of government in order to serve the people better, in order to provide better services through digital means, uh, including to business for, for their ease of doing business as well.